for joining me today. We have an unboxing video. So are you like me? Have you been looking at the File FileFX Norfolk range and thinking, hmm, maybe, maybe I will try one of those. Is it worth the money? Well, do you know what? I don't know yet because I haven't opened it, but that's what I'm hoping to find out today. I was really in two minds about whether to get one of these because, well, Filofax isn't the first brand I'd go to for a planner. Normally these days, Motem is my go-to, but as you know, if you've seen this channel at all, I love my Filofax Moldens. That is my go-to planner, really, I think, if any. But the features sometimes aren't quite what I'd want them to be. And I'll go into a little bit more of that later. So this one is different. This one, I think, is a good middle ground for... Uh, I think the quality of leather I'm hoping to see and also the features that you get with it. So let's have a look. Right, so I'm just gonna explain a little bit then about this planner while I unbox it. So as I said before then, this is the Filofax Norfolk. I have got the sage green version and I'll just flash up for a minute the specification that I can find online on the screen so you can have a look so you can see the ring size and all of those bits and pieces and also the price that you pay if you're in the UK for that. Um, now I'm just going to take a minute to say this is not a sponsored video at all good lord no <laughs> i paid 130 pounds for this um i was hoping to get 10 percent off with the sign up discount but happily signed up for my 10 percent off and found out there was a massive long list of all of the planners that it just wouldn't work for which i think was a bit of a con <laughs> so never mind anyway so yeah this is very very not sponsored and also very expensive so let's see if it's worth it so I'm gonna have a look and I'm gonna show you what you get with it when it comes new out of the box uh, I'm being desperate to see what color this really is I think when you're shopping for a planner online you can never really tell because of your monitor and all of that kind of stuff like the color that you're actually gonna get and what it looks like and what it compares to so I'm just looking at how that looks on my screen in front of me that is pretty true to life actually so let's have a look right then we have all of the bits and pieces inside it let's just take this outer cover off so i can feel what the leather quality is like ah okay so straight away this is very very reminiscent of the motor planners i'm going to be talking about those a lot so if you are familiar with those you're going to know what this is like so i watched a video uh online recently i will link hers down below because i thought she seemed absolutely lovely she unboxed one of these and she said that um she thought that it was painted rather than dyed which i thought was really interesting it's got a, quite a nice feel actually and compared to some of my moldens which i found to vary massively when you get them this i quite like the feel of so let's have a little look inside then let's see what we get so let's take this off oh, okay so we have some really good specs on there so i will show you that one i'll take a picture of that one and zoom in so you can see what you actually get with that one and let's have a little look so i've got let's see some marks on that page is that dust or is it scuffing no it appears to be some scuffing straight out the box <laughs> never mind uh, I'll be using my own stuff anyway to be fair so I'm not fussy about all that kind of stuff now do you know what strikes me with this instantly these rings are huge this is exactly what I was hoping for so let me just tell you then why why I wanted this while I go and take these bits and pieces out so let me just get my trusty scissors so I wanted this planner because I wanted something that would function as my everything planner so I use at the moment an A5 planner for anything shop related and 
oh god i mention it all the time i think so i always struggle with whether to combine or separate work and home when i was a teacher i was always very much for no 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 keep school at school <laughs> because it's one of those jobs where you end up bringing everything home with you whether you want to or not half the time whereas now now i'm ring uh my shop I really like it and actually what I need to do is to make sure that I've got that in the forefront of my mind when I'm not working so I can just drop in some little bits every now and again but also vice versa so that when I'm working I remember for example what I'm going to cook for dinner (laughs) what time I have to start working and all that kind of stuff so I wanted something with massive rings this ticks that box for definite I also wanted something with a slightly different layout really now i prefer honestly i would prefer a few more pockets and bits and pieces here although it is nice having a big pocket and it is really nice having a zip pocket there it's a non gusseted zipper pocket but that is decent so that's useful i like how we've got the little flap on there i like how we've got two different pen loops and oh i've just noticed which beats the molding straight away I thought these were leather pen loops. They're not. Look, they're little flaps covering them. They are elastic pen loops. So if, like me, you are a frustrated molding user that has to resort to leather conditioner and Vaseline and hair dryers and God knows what to get your favourite pen to fit, this is a good sign. And the fact that there are two of them is a bonus. So in the back, if you noticed already and if you've been stalking them online as i have you've noticed that the back is really generous with pockets i like a load of card slots i don't use these for credit cards and stuff like that but for task cards and sticky notes and bits and pieces like that i love these i quite like having them out of the way especially if you can get them peeking out at the side a little bit i just really like that look because you know they're there but they're not kind of in the way so the other bit that made me really want this and this was the big thing really this and the color because i thought the color was quite unusual it has the big back pocket now i know that not everybody is a fan of this i am a fan let me just take this out because it's got a card in it there you go Whoop, just knock everything <laughs> so i am a fan of having a big back pocket in there i like to carry my paperwork around with me so if i've got a letter i've got to respond to i don't really like leaving that somewhere in the house i'm not that organized just yet having just moved out we don't have a space for all those important bits and pieces so i like to keep them where i know they're going to be so that for me is great now my thought process when i was getting this i mentioned that i wanted this with my everyday planner and i really like the motown planners for this they are fantastic with their size and the big back pocket but i was really stuck on the colors i feel like unless you're going to go for the uh, the new uh full grain leather variety and they sell out so quick i feel like the colors are kind of what i'm used to this i thought was a little bit different so i thought that that went with what i really wanted for it so that was the one reason the rings were the other reason and as well another reason was i just thought i'd try a different model model is that the right even word for it different planner variety from filofax because i haven't had one of these yet so let's just have a quick look at the inserts i have no intention actually of using these but i think i know someone who i can gift them to so i'm not going to waste them uh filofax inserts then i think have changed quite a lot over well the last like couple of years i think so they are quite thin ivory pages let me just for the thickness fairly thin although i think they're a little bit thicker than they used to be if you have a look at what we've got here then so you've got a very very different layout to the ones we get normally we've got some overview pages in fact let me just flick through a whole month because it looks like you've got like a bit of a month pack going on here so you've got a hello uh or september in this case like a monthly page you've got some dotted paper some lined paper and then we've got looks like your weekly spread going across with from eight o'clock down to uh, eight o'clock in the evening and that looks like what you get that's controversial look at that 
interesting this is the first time i've seen one of these layouts actually i don't know if i just haven't been familiar enough with the inserts that you get with the a5s in particular but i'm used to having more of a monday tuesday wednesday thursday on two pages rather than a vertical interesting because i personally i don't really like using the the time blocks i prefer having a bit of a blank layout that's not going to suit everybody but for some people i think that'll be a really refreshing change so that's interesting what i'll do as well is i will do a bit of a close-up picture so you can see this in a little bit more depth that so you can see how the layout is and whether that would work for you or not uh we've also got at the back some to do special dates goals and notes and it looks like we've got yeah more note paper at the back as well interesting that's not what i was expecting mm. I learn something new every day so we've also got at the front we've got a calendar so our 2023 2024 calendar we've got a page for our big plans and then we're straight into it we've also got with this too we've got a set of dividers i'm not a massive fan of the filofax dividers they are paper they bend really easily although the tabs are reinforced but nice if you want to keep your uh space really kind of like just tight really but although with the size rings you don't have to we've also got some to-do pages and what else have we got mm -mm -mm. Let me look. loads of those and then we've got looks like just some plain paper at the back as well so it's all oh there we've got all of the basics we've also got a ruler that you can snap in snap out and we've got one of their pockets as well in the back so you get loads with this but let me talk about ring size in fact let me take that out so i can give you a proper comparison of what you get so let me just whip all of this out oh good lord that's stiff Oof. right there we go do you know what i just noticed i forgot to check to see if there was a gap in the rings i've been stung by that before if you've watched my mini video i've had a new file effects out of the box before and been disappointed in fact i've had two where i've been disappointed and to be fair i haven't had that many <laughs> new unboxed one of them i was really disappointed with because of the quality of the leather it was really 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 cracked and i wasn't expecting it to be compared to uh, other moldens i'd had and then another one again a molden um had gaps all down the rings which i was very sad about but i managed to fix and it's still okay anyway ring size let's have a look can you see how big those are those are absolutely huge i think it's gonna be better if i can compare that with a molden and a motor give me one second to grab them and then i'll show you here are my comparison file effects so well a file effects and a motor planner let me just take these out so you can see think it's going to be pretty obvious actually without me doing too much to compare the ring difference if i lay one next to the other can you see how different that is so i've got this one is that big you can see side by side that is quite a difference can i show you this way perhaps you see the difference in sizes that way that is quite a lot of extra pages you can fit on there it's really hard to get an angle oh it's really difficult right so also you can see on here side by side the difference between the molden and the norfolk so we've got the two pen loops again on this one we've got more pockets in the front we've got just the one on the back which i find a little bit restrictive i thought that was a pocket originally it's not and no big back pocket it's also can you see really 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 flexible which as much as i absolutely love this cover and the texture on it is lovely it's so soft and nice it's really floppy so if you haven't got much in it it's like <laughs> whereas this one is not this one is a proper stand up you can write on this it's not hard as such so i've got uh, an old like carpe diem one um those i think have been replaced by pucker pads now so one of those it's really hard it's really solid you can write it it's like a clipboard this is a nice middle ground let me compare this then to the motor so i think you'll see when i grab this one 
why I said this is like a direct like middle ground sort of version. So if I open that up and this one, this one, oh, I just, I love the layout of these. I think they're so nice. I've just <laughs> literally off camera, I've just gutted all of this. This was full a minute ago. So you can see how similar that side is. Look at that. Inspired, do we think? So this is, uh, I think they call this a secretary flap, do they? I'm not sure. Uh, so I've got a bit of a open packeted, pockety bit there. And I've got lots of lovely useful space there. All of these lovely card holders here just the same as this one i've also got the big back pockets although i'm not as much of a fan of the brown <laughs> and the front is different so i've only got on here the one pen loop although they do come with a fly leaf with another which i love that this doesn't have but we have the zip as well although no uh little flap to cover the zipper although you don't really need it because this really bulks it out so you don't tend to get any scratching from this and this is what i really like about this one so there's loads of storage here again another pocket here and then this is a really great pocket because it's got like this gusset bit in it as well so it's huge anyway this is why i love the layout of these they're just my happy layout i think they're so nice this is close isn't it it's really, really close. I think what I might have to do with this is get imaginative about how I use it. I'm going to be thinking about how I can use this as a really nice blank slate for something rather than be, I suppose, restricted to card slots to make this bit a bit more useful. Anyway, back to ring size. Let's have a look. This is kind of similar to the Molden. Maybe if I can fold that back again and show you. Does that translate that well on camera? Can you see? the difference in size between those it really is quite drastic looking at it i thought the motems were quite generous but that is huge wow look at that that is brilliant okay clearly getting a little bit too excited about ring size you know you're a planner geek well and truly when you look at a planner ring size and go oh my goodness the stuff i could do with that one <laughs> clearly a little bit too excited anyway <laughs> So those are my first impressions. So the colour looks like it is pretty true to life on screen right now. It's a really nice, they call it sage green. I think that's fairly accurate. And the leather quality features and all of that kind of stuff, great. Is it worth the money? Oh, I don't know. Oh, those rings, pretty good. Also worth noting as well that these are riveted rings with moterms i really love this sounds like a moterm advert it's not <laughs> how you can switch these out so i'm sure you could find some bigger rings and switch this in and there's plenty of room to do that but with these they are not easily interchangeable i think that'd be a pretty serious job to get them changed i'm sure you could especially if there's a big back pocket in there to hide anything behind it but mm, not something that you really want to attempt unless you know what you're doing so 130 pounds is a lot the Moton ones are a lot cheaper let's have a look and see how they compare to the moldens as well you can make your own mind up about what you prefer as far as that's concerned and yeah i don't know let's wait and see until i've filled it full of everything i want to fill it with and let's just see i think this one might grow on me now i have a tip if you're in the UK and you are similar to me that if it's not next day, you don't want it. <laughs> I am terrible, honestly. I'm just, oh, good Lord. Thought, I love ordering Motown planners, but I don't like the wait. I really, really can't handle it because I normally decide last minute and then I just want it done. So <laughs> it's not for me. So I went to the File FX site and I went to try and get one of these. And then I realised that they're quickest option was quite expensive and the quickest option wasn't next day and i just thought ah more money and instead what i realized that if i had it delivered i had this delivered to my local uh, waitrose supermarket it was free and it was next day so there's my tip 
if you don't want to pay the money for this, squeeze a little bit out of that delivery charge. Because if you don't go direct through the, the Filofax website, if you go to other places that sell them, so John Lewis sells them, lots of other stationery shops sell them, you are going to save a little bit on the postage at least because the Filofax delivery is not cheap. Anyway, right. Let me know what you think. If you have one of these already, I'd be really interested to see. Watch out as well for any variations in sizes. So I think the personal one, I could be wrong. I think the personal one just has the one pen loop. But just double check. Anyway, let me know how you get on with yours if you've got one anyway. I'd love to know about it. And if you want to see what I've done with it, check back on the channel soon. I will be setting this up. I have big plans. It's going to go all springy. Anyway, thank you very much. Hopefully I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.